Hi there, this video is about exchange rates and uh, ATM fees. If you're an American and you're traveling abroad for tourism, for work, for school, or maybe you're a full-fledged digital nomad, this information may help you. It's a very specific example that happened to me in my last trip to Colombia. I made in 2022, December 2022 into January 2023. Keep that in mind in case you're watching this further out into the future or maybe still applies. Let me know if it does or maybe it doesn't. Let me know. Here we go. Another piece of information that you need to know in order to understand this video is that I bank with Charles Schwab. My checking account is with Charles Schwab which is very beneficial. Debit card is very flexible in the sense that I can use any ATM anywhere and Charles Schwab refunds me any fees that uh, those ATMs may charge. That's a very, very special thing this bank does. I know some other institutions do the same thing, especially at least here in the United States, at least um, that I know. Um, many banks that work with the government with the military with the government i know those banks have the same benefits but in this case none of that is is true it's just uh, charles schwab which is a bank anybody can uh, open a bank account with so i go to this bank called da vivienda it's a popular bank in colombia um, in a shopping mall, inside the shopping mall, there is this bank, outside the bank, there's the ATM, and this is the ATM I'm using. I select withdrawal from my checking account, my Charles Schwab checking account, and in this case, I'm going to pick 220,000 pesos because I was only going for lunch that day, and that seemed like a, just enough amount uh, for that day. The screen shows me this information, which is a withdrawal request, and it's um, telling me that it's going to give me 220,000 pesos. That is going to give me an exchange rate of one US dollar for 4,000 or 4,485 pesos with 30 cents for every uh, one US dollar. It's telling me that it's charging me a markup of 7.5 percent and it's also telling me that uh, the total converted amount is 49 dollars and five cents i declined this conversion remember this i declined this conversion what happens now is that the atm just processes the transaction regardless of my uh, declining the atm just processes the transaction i get my money the 220,000 pesos and then I also get a receipt like you would with any other ATM. The interesting part comes next because out of me declining that conversion I actually made a little money I actually got a better deal out of this whole thing. My conversion rate was a little high let me show you how that goes. So I go and check what is the official rate for that day the peso or the dollar was worth 4848 pesos with 59 cents that day we're talking about december 30th 2022 that was the official exchange rate that day i then go into my charles schwab account to see how much they actually took out of my account in order to give me my 220,000 pesos and i see that the amount they took was $46.16 $46.16 giving me an exchange rate of 4,766 pesos for every dollar it's still lower than the official exchange rate but it's higher than the first offer the bank da vivienda or the ATM in this case, I don't know if it was Da Vivienda or another institution, but uh, we're going to talk about Da Vivienda in this case because that's their ATM. That's the, uh, the offer they had given me was way below, almost 400 pesos less for every dollar. So there you go.